Kamakailan lamang ay bumisita sa Pilipinas si Dr. Imram Habib Ahmad, Regional Director for East Asia and the Pacific. Ipinahayag niya ang mga ilan pang mga posibleng expansion projects ng GGGI dito sa Pilipinas. Welcome to the Philippines, Dr. Ahmad. We've heard about the Global Green Growth Institute, but we wanted to know more about what the Institute is all about. Uh, Global Green Growth Institute is the only organization that is dedicated to green growth. Uh, it was uh, really led by initiative of the Korean government, um, who joined with a few states initially as a Korean NGO and then later turned into an intergovernmental organization which is comprised of 22 member states now with Philippines as, as a, one of the founding members. The green growth concept is, is basically about looking at all elements of, uh, of development uh, including economic, environmental and, uh, and generate mechanisms to actually value the natural capital, have climate resilience built into the programs and generate growth. So you mentioned about natural capital. Let yeah. me, for our viewers, mm -hmm. let's say, when you say we wanted this kind of growth, we wanted it to be green. Mm -hmm. For an ordinary individual, what can they relate it to? Is it about preserving our trees? Is it about not using fossil fuel? What is it for an ordinary person for them to understand it and embrace a green growth initiative? Green growth is really about making sense to the poor and what, what are the economic benefits that can directly relate to how they're going to sort of uh, improve their lives. Uh, I think in terms of community, particularly in coastal areas, and I, I would, um, where they're really, uh, for instance, where tourism uh, is, is a major sort of uh, economic uh, avenue, they're impacted a lot by climate change. So uh, measures to actually help them, understanding of these, uh, this aspect and so, actually incorporating it in their uh, livelihood. So it's really more of capacity in the local community. Yes. Appreciate their natural resources, their beauty. Yes. And not through exploitation, but a little bit of conservation, a little yes. bit of preservation, and yes. a little bit of use. We have the same understanding. And basically, the whole there are, there are about 20 definitions of green growth floating around. There's a lot of academic debate on what green growth actually means. But within GGGI, we really believe and de develop a green growth approach in partnership with the countries. So we look at what their development priorities are and how can a green growth help them achieve that. Uh, and we are, that's what all uh, GGGI is about. It's demonstrating and creating that evidence base. For instance, in developed countries, you can see in Europe, uh, with Germany, Spain, Denmark, leading on a renewable front. Um, in uh, Latin America, Brazil is an excellent example of hydropower and um, uh, uh, development and how they have uh, uh, conceptualized renewable energy in terms of uh, generating uh, energy. In the Philippines, do you have any uh, projects here that you could highlight it's worth supporting and uh, what are the successes that you've seen so far? The Ecotown project in which we are involved is an excellent example of how the local communities are being in, involved in developing uh, something uh, that is very central to their, uh, to their livelihood, to their resilience. And we uh, have been fortunate to partner with the government on, on that initiative. It's uh, Philippines, as you're aware, Madam, is, is a highly decentralized country and uh, the local government unit in which uh, the Equitown Phase 1 uh, we're working with is um, they need a lot of support mm -hmm. in terms of and, and we realize that we can actually partner with the government and actually help them uh, incorporate not just climate resilience but green growth mm -hmm. into the planning framework. In the Equitown uh, projects that uh, you've helped the government with uh, is there a possibility that this model can be scaled up in other countries as well? I would really uh, support that and GGGI is now uh, looking at how evidence base and best practices can be actually promoted. We have this excellent initiative of Equitown Phase uh, project which we are now scaling up to the province level. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is a useful model that can not provide only guidance to uh, Philippines but also to other developing countries. Yes. Philippines should be proud of this initiative 
should be proud of the fact that it started at the local government level, which is, it's not a top-down approach. It didn't it's come from the top. It's really a bottom-up approach, and we are really privileged to be part of that. Learning from the municipalities, scaling up to the province, and bringing up to the national level. Mm -hmm. So I think you've created that bottom-up cycle, which countries are talking about, but many of the countries are still struggling with. So I think Philippines can be a pioneer in actually showing how you can uh, work through a bottom-up approach. The leadership that... Uh, um, uh, Secretary Sering, you have shown is is uh, is very critical to the success of this bottom-up initiative. Mm -hmm. Philippines is a wonderful example of country that have uh, of a country that has demonstrated a bottom-up approach. For Filipinos to be proud of the fact that they've created something that they can show internationally, and we would be happy to work with Philippine government in promoting this knowledge exchange. Ayfu de Boer, Director General of the Global Green Growth Institute, GGGI. GGGI is an international organization dedicated to developing and diffusing green growth. GGGI supports developing and emerging countries in demonstrating new pathways to climate resilient and pro-poor economic growth that simultaneously targets transformational aspects of economic performance, social inclusion and environmental sustainability. Sana patuloy na makatulong ang programang ito upang mahikayat ang mga lokal na pamahalaan, mga pribadong sektor, pati na rin ang mga individual sa importansya ng tamang pagpaplano, katulad ng mga prinsipyong nakapaloob sa Ecotown Framework, kung saan itinutulak hindi lamang ang pag-angat ng lokal na ekonomiya, pati na rin ang uri ng kanilang pamumuhay. Ngayon, ang pagkakataon para sa klima ng pagbabago.